your boy like back at it with another YouTube video. And uh in today's video, you read the title right, it's gonna be my reaction to the Snyder Cut trailer. So yeah, let's get into this a lot of stuff to talk about. And just so you guys aren't confused, this isn't gonna be what I wanna see. This is just gonna be me kinda talking about uh the trailer and stuff and stuff we saw. Um I'm in no way saying like I'm like super like Easter egg watcher, one of those kind of people. I'm a superhero fan. I can notice some stuff like that, but yeah, I just want to say that just in case you're wondering about that, you guys can go check out like a different YouTuber or something. And yeah, so yeah, this trailer came out uh, on Valentine's Day. Honestly, I was I was a bit shocked as well. Um, I knew it was coming out on Valentine's Day, but it was the time. So in my time region, I was expecting it to be coming out around noon. And uh, so I was waiting for noon the entire time. Then I opened my Instagram. I'm looking through. All I see is a Snyder Cut. I watched it. It was great. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about. So honestly, might as well just start with Steppenwolf. Um, so this movie is going to be rated R. Uh, it's It's a change from the other one. It's being rated R. I believe it's for like swearing and language. And I think violence as well. Uh, I, I, I hope it's not with nudity or nothing, but, yeah, that's just my opinion on that topic. Uh, so, yeah, we got glimpses at some new characters as well, because, um, yeah, Steppenwolf is, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't like Steppenwolf one bit in the Justice League movie, I disliked him to the core. When I found out he was the villain, I was just like, come on, kind of thing. But this trailer made him look so much more better. He's killing, Am I, I, I presume they're Amazonians. Uh, they're, he's killing them brutally. Uh, and like, he just looks like even better now. I didn't, personally, I didn't think, when I was seeing pictures of what he newly looked like, I didn't think it would make much of a difference in my opinion on the character. But yeah, now I see him in action, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Um, it looks really cool. We're exp I'm pretty sure we're getting more backstory for characters and stuff, which is really good. Uh, we could see now Steppenwolf's more of like, uh, like a kind of like servant to Darkseid. He was in the movie, but there's basically no mention of him uh, in the movie. And we're, I'm presuming we'll probably get like some glimpses of Apocalypse, which definitely could be really good. Um, I presume they're going to be talking a lot more about Superman uh, in the movie on how he's dead. And then Darkseid's like, Superman is dead. I can freely rule Earth or whatever. Uh, his master plan is there. Um, Henry Cavill looks awesome in the black suit Superman. He looks even better in... The uh, black suit than he did in the red and blue suit. Uh, and it's it's really good to see that Henry, Henry Cavill does not... His face doesn't look weird. Because if you remember in the 2017's cut... Um, his like mouth was digitally edited because he had a mustache or whatever. And I can't even lie. It looks so stupid. I did not like that. I always thought it looked really strange. Uh, but... Yeah. Uh... I'm pretty sure we're also getting more in intense battle scenes and stuff, which could be really cool. Uh, yeah, and then one more thing. Uh, the If you realize in the trailer, uh, you could even realize that in the other trailer, the first trailer, uh, you see that Batman is just like walking around like in a, like a destroyed kind of city that says Justice League. I'm really curious to see if that's a dream because... Or if, like, something happened. Because it's definitely interesting to see if that happens. Uh, yeah, because I, I was watching and I was, like, curious. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, what the heck is this? What What's happening? Is this, like, taking place over time lapse? Or then I realized I was just like, maybe this is a dream. Uh, Batman's dream, another part of his dream or whatever. 
or maybe there actually is a time lapse who knows or or time gap sorry uh so that was really interesting this made this most of the heroes look even better honestly i mean i i even before this trailer and stuff i thought one room was really cool uh and powerful uh batman he, he was whatever honestly but like cyborg looks so much more better he can like produce like produce weapons and stuff which is really cool flash looks all right uh, i mean aquaman is it's already cool from the backstory movie or whatever uh so yeah i'm interested honestly very very interested on how they do this uh and then at the end, uh, we actually saw that Jared Lo Leto was coming back to play the Joker. And a c like it was a couple days ago, or a couple, not a couple days ago, a couple days before the Snyder Cut trailer released, uh, we saw the new look Joker. And I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't understand it. <laughs> I can't even lie. Um... Yeah, I, I honestly don't understand how he goes from having, like, a big tat, like, tattoos all over himself to being, like, clean face, clean, no tattoos, and acting like this, which I don't understand. Um, yeah, that it just kind of doesn't make any sense to me, honestly, the way he's portrayed. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it or anything, it just, I hope it makes sense in the movie. Because if he just shows up like this, I'm going to be wondering really, really strange. Um, I, in the last scene, uh, we uh, we actually got a glimpse of how Jared Leto's Joker is like. And uh, we see him say he, he was like, we live in a society where honor was, is like long. He said something about honor and he's like Batman or whatever. Um. So yeah, all right. <clears throat> I'm curious to see what happens with him. Uh, and yeah, it kind of makes me think here because if you realize that's like the apocalypse thing again, but maybe it's like a nightmare or something. I don't know. Or maybe Gotham City gets destroyed in the movie. Who knows? Um, there's so many cool things that can happen with this movie, and this trailer just made it much, much better. And yeah, speaking of the movie, it's actually releasing a uh, month from now when I'm recording this. So it's re releasing really soon. I can't wait for the movie. Um, yeah. And uh, just in case you were wondering, uh, Warner Bros. actually released a, a few trailers. And uh, at least two trailers that I'm going to be talking about. Obviously, I'm talking about the center cut right now. But um, uh, very soon, I will be talking about the Mortal Kombat trailer. I'm actually going to film this, that trailer, at, or sorry, film the video after this one. So yeah, I uh, look forward to that. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And also, actually, comment down below what you guys thought of this trailer. Are you guys ex like extremely excited for this movie or what? Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.